Hello, it is January 17, 2012, and I am doing a little little vlog on my afro. It's been out been about almost I'll say almost a month now since I did the big chop back in December. My hair is wet right now. So it's starting to shrink. It has shrunk a lot. Since I haven't put anything, I haven't picked it out, I haven't did anything. Um, I just took a shower and, and just wet my hair a little bit since I am rocking the fro. It's very thick, but it's very soft. And a little update about it. One thing I'm learning, I had to retrain my hair because um, of the shampoo she used. The um, Paul Mitchell's Fusion 23 or something like that. And she also used the it's a tan miracle all-in-one um, all-in-one leave-in conditioner I didn't realize she used that until um, maybe two weeks ago like she used something else leave -in, my hair doesn't do well with leave-in condition conditioner so I think that's what what was going on with my hair since then I've conditioned it I've experimented with my own little concoctions my own little deep deep conditioners and things like that my hair is very thick but it's very soft and it's starting to really curl up. I wish my camera could could get a shot of it. It's starting to curl up. Right now it's shrunken, it's wet. I have water dripping down the back of my ear. And one another thing I learned um, is that my hair is not all one texture, which is that could be anybody, but um my um I think I have combo hair. That's the best way I can really just really describe it. I have combo hair. The back of my hair is like a 3C. Top of my the very top of my crown is like a 3C. Everything else is like a 4A through a 4C, especially right above the big piece of the nape of my um back of my head tends to kink up tighter. Like a little fist, like this in the back very back in one section one full complete section back there everything else tends, but it's soft though it's very soft I love my fur I don't regret cutting my hair and people still can't believe like you cut all your hair off like you know I got some stories to tell I think I will do a couple of videos on natural hair discrimination I've been getting a lot of negative things but honestly when I was relaxed and I had long hair down my back I still was getting hated on still getting dirty dirty looks and things like that it has nothing to do with my hair it's my personality confidence this is a personal choice I chose to cut my hair off I didn't have to I had relaxed hair down my back I had short hair long hair I've had all the braids and extensions even though I didn't really like them too much I I still wear wigs time to time I haven't worn a wig in a long time I'll say maybe maybe a couple times last year I didn't really wear my wigs like that but it's very easy to take care of you know um, I attempted a wash and go I think I'm gonna try it again because I didn't let my hair my hair was more damp than actually um, soaking wet normally my hair works better when it's like super wet and it dries really fast, like it's almost dry, except for over here in the sides. But, I mean, it's thick. I still have some color I need to get rid of right there, so I may have to cut it out. It makes my hair look a little dry. It's dead color on the ends. But um, my hair is very soft. I love my hair. I'm a little obsessed with it. I finger my hair and play in it and twirl it and things like that. And um, I'm, I mean, I'm still me. I'm still confident. It, it takes confidence to wear anything like this. And I really, 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 really like it. I mean, it is what it is. It's my hair is thick. It's healthy. It's beautiful. It comes. It's growing like a little. It's like a little plant. It's very easy to take care of. I don't have to use a lot in my hair, so to speak, except for like conditioner and like maybe my hair butters. I don't put a whole lot in my hair, but I have been experimenting with it to try to get it back to being soft. Like it's 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 soft. 
very soft. You know, it was a little stripped when I got my big cut from the shampoo and stuff she used. But it's okay. Big chop. I said big cut. Yeah. But um, I don't regret it. I think I'm going to do some more videos. I like doing these little videos on my hair. I think you get it. It's, I haven't picked it out or anything yet. So I love it. It's growing and it's scaring me a little bit. They said it's going to grow fast. Natural hair grows fast once you cut off the ends and all that type of stuff. Yes, it does grow fast, especially the nape, the very back, the kitchen, so to speak, so to speak, um, is growing. The crown of my head is growing too. I've noticed a difference. It's growing a little bit. I'm a little scared. Like I don't want it to grow too fast because I'm enjoying the length of it. I think I look super, super cute and gorgeous with short hair. But there you go. I unpick fro. And I've noticed my fro has an attitude too. It lets me know when it doesn't like something. But I'll talk about that in another video I plan on doing. But I love it. I'm very cute. It's, look at that. Look at that. That is a queen's hair for you. Thick. Mine is soft. It's, it's curly and fluffy. It's like an all in one little. It's like a pillow up there, really. It's combo hair. I like my hair. I have to just get rid of that color. I'm not sure whether I want to recolor it or not. But this video is almost seven minutes long. A couple minutes too long. But there's an update. One month of my big chop. Still loving it. It's growing. It's very healthy. And I would encourage anybody to, if you want to do this, go ahead and do it. I just want to end this video. Bye-bye, bye-bye.